Hello, everybody, Defense here, and welcome to another episode of Techtopia. This is. I actually kind of lost track of episodes, but we're here. We are set and ready to go. A couple of things happened between last episode and this episode. Uh, one of them being, I threw down some trees. We are going to end up working in here today. I just threw down some trees to get a lumberjack started. We did a bit of work outside during a live stream on Wednesday, which if you guys do want to catch live streams, I don't always stream Minecraft, but I do stream on Wednesday and Friday evening. If I remember, link down below, twitch.tv slash defense 041. But that is enough plugs. We are going to hop into today's project. Uh, and oh, actually, another thing that I did between hand, I threw down a quick little, uh, uh, I call it the quick and dirty library all puns intended <laughs> we are gonna make an actual library and i was trying to figure out where i wanted to put it because i had a really cool idea to have floating islands and they were gonna have like books on them and like bridges going but you can't do that with this mod because it requires the door and specific other variables which was kind of a bummer but i like it nonetheless so I might end up using it at some other point, but we need to build a library, and I saw this and thought, yes, this would be awesome. Then I opened up the hole and went, oh. <laughs> so there's not a lot of space in here to put a library, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging, but I just wanted to bring you guys in, show you that, and actually one other thing. Actually, a couple other things that I'm remembering in the stream the other day, which I am hoping to post to the channel. I just have to wait a little bit, and then I have to download it and transfer it over from Twitch, so we'll do that. But I added in underneath all of our light sources, aka over the top of all our water, I've added in these beehives. They increase the growth speed of plants within a four, four block area, so one, two, three, four out. Obviously, it's not really doing much here. But it does help because these are kind of smaller areas. So growth is happening faster, which also helps because I won't need druids for farmland. And I didn't do the ramp. I forgot to. But we did build another house. Oh, I forgot about that aspect. Mm, that's kind of a bummer. I haven't finished decorating yet, but we did this in stream. And we had a lot of fun with it. I, I very much enjoyed it. As I said, it's still very plain. There's a lot of stuff that I have to get decoration-wise. But our buddy here needed a house, and uh, he's done nothing but hit the library, pretty much. You can see he's only chopped down, like, two or three, maybe four trees. But uh, he started off at 22 or 23, somewhere around there, and now he's very smart. So once he actually does start chopping trees, he's going to be a genius. But I have to do some digging, so I'm going to dig that out a little bit and then bring you guys back so I can show you what I am thinking of doing for the library. So give me a moment and I will be right back. This hall looks very empty without the dirt library here anymore, but I am fine with it because you'll see I got to make a bridge. Uh, I tried to use lily pads. I don't walk across the lily pads, but we are down here. And we've made something fancy. I went through actually two other designs before I ended up going with this one. Oops, I gotta replace that block. But I am happy with this one. And initially I didn't think it was gonna work because I went, I built the whole thing and then went, oh, where am I gonna put the door? So I decided to test if this would work. And it does. So <laughs> this is four trap doors and a door door all made to look like cobble. And it makes it so that this room here is seen as the library, which makes me very happy. It looks pretty awesome. Why is that there? I don't want that one there. Good. It means I can put it down there. So I haven't finished decorating it. I thought I'd bring you guys back. We do have a couple of bits that I want to decorate. Um, you can see some of the leftovers from my other ideas. I didn't end up liking them. So we're going to go with this. I do have to, as you saw in there, there is some mossy cobble. I do want to change out some of the cobble to get some of the mossy bits in just to add a little bit of extra color along with that i have the jungle leaves and i had candles but i lost them but we'll we'll deal with candles in a moment what i need to do i threw these down just to test i don't know why i threw down so many but now we get to do some building and what i'm thinking is i want to get this in first and i wanted to kind of make this the central piece one two three four five six 
boom because from here to here and here to here is that it obviously doesn't line up perfectly central with the room but I like it nonetheless the way it is one, one, two. and now how do we want to do this hmm, my idea might not work so it's three six eight I don't know how many books they actually need because so far I've only seen basic level enchantments. I haven't seen anything else from the enchanter, so I don't really know how much of this I actually want to do. But what I am going to do, oh, they're already starting to come down to read. We're going to do this. Well, hold on, I need to, I need to nudge you. All right, well, we'll put that one there afterwards. Boom and a boom. So it's three, six, nine, ten, a eleven. So we'll only have eleven. That's kind of a bummer but it'll work. I also currently have torches. We are not going to be lighting this place up with torches. Just uh, just so you know. But I also really don't know what I want to do book-wise in here. I want to do some pillars eventually with books. But I'm thinking we're not really going to be able to do that right away because of the amount of books we have. I made this place. I like this place. It's just not really a, it's just not really a good library. I'm not... Library wise, it's going to be kind of tough. I also don't like how bright the bookshelves are compared to everything else. But I think it'll be fine. It doesn't. Mm, I think it'll be fine. Alright, we'll leave that. Let me change out Shimadis. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to put that right there. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it right there. Make it easier. I meant to grab chicken when I ran away earlier. But this is just going to be to add a little bit of color. I am probably actually going to grab some gravel as well, if I have any left. I've been using a ton of my gravel, as per usual, to make flint so I can blow stuff up. I may be a little addicted to blowing stuff up, but it's a necessity in this pack, so we're definitely going to be doing it. Right, it's starting to look nice. Yeah, see, just a little bit of color already, I think, really helps. Good, 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 good. I also love the... So yes, we are playing in 1.12, but this is a 1.14.2 texture pack. So it has like the, the new mossy cobble, which looks way better than the old mossy cobble. And I, and don't get me wrong, I loved the old mossy cobble for what it was, but it's uh, it's a lot better now. I like it. And the, the mossy cobble pillars match the... Oh, I don't know why I opened my inventory, I was really confused. So they match, which is way better. They all match around now. They were like two different greens before, and I didn't like that. It looked weird. Whoop, that's not supposed to have been that. Put that back. I'm just trying to spread the green out a bit so we can get a bit of color everywhere. Whoop, I guess we'll put two pieces there. Yoink. I'd say that looks pretty good. We'll, we'll leave that for a second. Let's get a little bit of this going. Okay, that's not going to look good in here. Because mm, the ceiling's not high enough. I wanted to do the leaves kind of hanging down to make them look a um, kind of like vines. But it's not going to work there, so we're just going to ditch that. And what else? I just came up here to grab gravel. Gravel, gravel. Gravel should be in here. Yep, there's a little bit and a little bit more. Alright, we'll be able to put some of that in the wall. And that'll just add another texture. And then we'll come up and do the bridge. And I might... You know, we'll put some tables and chairs in these two spots. I think that'll work. Not that they are going to use them, but I still think it'll be nice to have. I'll put that there. It just adds another little bit of a subtle different texture to look at yeah 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 i like it i like it i think it looks good if you guys ever have ideas like this by the way that i don't end up doing feel free to throw them in the comment section down below so i know they're there and i can remember to give them a try yoink whoop too far back yeah a couple of those are a couple of those are hollow back there Yeah, we gotta keep adding. Okay. Whoop. Uh, no. It's not really gonna stick out much, but I think doing that and that will look good. So yeah, that one's just kind of snuck in there. And we'll put this one right here. Boom. 
I don't know why I keep scrolling. It's in my offhand. <laughs> it's just a habit. I, I don't use the offhand for building as much as I should. Don't get me wrong, I do. I just not as much as I should. I also covered the entire inside here with gravel. Just uh, sorry, cobble. So it kind of uh, matched downstairs per se, just so it'd look nice. A little bit more balanced, kind of blend from this to this. I don't really know a good way to blend that there, so we're just gonna kind of leave it. But I think it'll do none the less. And okay. Tables and chairs. Let's go grab those. I should also grab some wolf carpet, but I don't think I have... Oh, those were the two diamonds I was looking for earlier. Yoink. Unrelated. But, all right, we got a little bit of carpet. Let's grab that up. There's a chair. Now let's grab this. I guess that'll do. I gotta make more chairs at some point anyway. That's why I just bullcrafted a couple of those. So, let's swing down here. Again, I wish I could change the color of the chairs. But sadly, it doesn't seem like you can. At least with the usable chairs. Actually, since these don't get used, I might end up changing them to different chairs. Hmm. And let's see. We can do... No, because I don't think they consider... Let's flip them. So we're going to put table, table, chair, chair. Yeah, put that there. Chair right there. I'm just gonna tuck them into little corners. I think that'll look cool. Um, table, table, chair, chair. Again, I'll have to figure out. I want to balance the lighting in here. I don't want it to be like ridiculously torch bright. Actually, you know, what? honestly, now that we've done this, I don't need the torches at all. Well, it's really just to show you guys a little bit of. Oh, let's. I don't actually need torches back here. Oh wow, it's really dark here now. All right, just throw a little bit of light there. And let's put a torch right there. Hmm. I like it. As I said, we'll probably come through and decorate some more stuff as we go. I might change these up again. I built this whole thing. I'm really happy with it. I'm just not happy with that. <laughs> Look at the little dirt face. <laughs> there's an eyeball, there's an eyeball, and there's a mouth. All right, distractions gone. Now, uh, let's make a... Uh, I want to make a little bridge. What do we want to do for the bridge? Let's just dump off some items. Oop, actually, we need that. I might go back in and raise a couple of those up or make some fancy little pillar bits. That'll be an off-camera thing once I decide how I want to do it. We did a little bit of trading. We traded off all of our wheat, all of our potatoes, and all of our beetroot. Not all on the same day. Like, we did this one day, and then it was actually a couple days later, and then I did this, and then the next day I did that. Uh, just hoping to keep them balanced so that they will... Um, so that they will cut on over and boost each other up. This is going good, growth-wise. I'm just... He keeps doing this, and I still can't figure out why they do it. And it drives me insane. All the leaves get taken off the trees, but no wood gets chopped. And I just, I don't know why. This, this room's also way too small, so we are not going to end up working in here, sadly. Um, I, do, I have to make it bigger. Just spacing it out so that we can get sapling drops. It, and that's just those. So I'm going to have to make the place bigger. The downside to working underground so as i said we'll figure that out and be able to handle that but oh we also got a druid let's go check out our druid friend they came in i wasn't going to grab a new vill this this episode but they came in with an intelligence of 28 to start so it was like eh, like a nomad just walked in 28 they haven't gained anything since which is a bummer but i've been working on the library so it's been off and on when it's been working but it's been good. They're they're nice to have. Good start. I have them only growing trees right now, just because I don't need them down here. I don't want them wasting their time and energy down here, because there's enough plant out here. Oh, there's not a lot of these. Let me plant some of these guys. We chit chat. There's not a lot. Uh, sorry, there is a lot of growth out here already. 
and then these increase the growth also so it's they're not really needed we'll, we'll leave it they'll be good for now maybe when I get two farmers on each plot it'll be necessary to have the druids out here kind of helping everything along but I want my druids right now to focus on getting the trees up and going and aside from that, they will be down here a majority of their time doing the regrowth on the mine shafts. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen mine shafts in here, and then my own down below where I've been doing a ton of mining. So that'll be nice. We'll be able to get that done. But since I'm not currently going to be working on this right now, let me see what it is I want to start working on. And when I figure that out, I'll bring you right back. So I have been walking around trying to figure out what we were going to do and what I've decided is we're going to do a bit of decorating. One of the things that I've really been lacking on in all three seasons, I end up doing a bunch towards the end, but just kind of decorating the area and really making the buildings look like they fit to what they're supposed to be. So like this storage room, kind of boring, you know, it looks cool, don't get me wrong. But it's just a bunch of chests. It doesn't look like stuff actually gets stored here. So, I am going to fix that. Because we do have us some dwarves living here. So what do dwarves have? Lots and lots of cakes. So, I've decided to fill this whole wall <laughs> with cakes. I don't know why. Just this wall. I just decided we're just going to do it over here. Why not? And, boom. Wall of cakes. I might add more that kind of stick out. But in front of it, whoop, not what it, where'd those go? I lost them, right here. I thought we'd get like a nice stack of that there. And I don't know where, you know, let's put a stack over. Actually, no, we're going to do the beehives over here. I decided to, well, they call them apiaries here. But I want to just kind of have some stuff stacked. So it looks like there's actual storage going on in here, which is kind of the, you know, the point of a storage room, if, if I do say so myself. So we're going to make it look like they got a bunch of mugs going on here, which is pretty awesome. If, well, if, you know, I like it. We did this in the tavern in Season 2 on one of the shelves. It's just annoying that I have to spread it like this. That just scared me because she didn't render in on the corner of my screen. I was like, uh, there's nobody there except for a chicken. Chickens can't open chests. I like that. I like that. We might come in and fill it with some more items. What else do we got? We got that. Oh, I've got some trapped chests to put in between stuff. Got some more barrels. I mean, I ended up making a lot of these. I have a lot of plans for this kind of stuff in the future. So right now, it's not really needed. Actually, we can... Bloop. That looks so weird. <laughs> Alright, whatever. That works. That works. Alright, so to make it so that... Ooh, these guys use trapped chests. That is the question. Hmm. I don't know if they will, but I do kind of just want to fill these in nonetheless, just to make them look a bit better. And I'm liking this already. And I also thought I'd have some fun. Uh, this is completely pointless and unnecessary. But I want there to be, like, minecarts on here. For no reason at all. Just just to have. I thought it'd look cool. Let's put some, uh, whoop. not what I wanted to do. I want to see how these look on. I can't place stuff today. Hold on. There we go. Does it look good? No, it do does not. All right. So we've got those. What else do we want? What do these look like on here? Uh, we'll put it right there. Oh, they look pretty cool. I'll do that. They look like little jars. Oh, speaking of that, can't I get jars? I've just been trying to figure out what I can put in places to look nice. I can do jars. Ooh, I, I don't think I have any glass in here, though. Just kind of a bump. Ooh, unless I got axes. Oh, they do bump them every once in a while, it seems. Unless that just kind of swung around there like it was nothing. But everyone's doing good. I'm enjoying this. I... I don't know what else to put in here though that's the problem is I keep trying to think of what we can do to decorate and it just it doesn't always end up fitting I'll right, we'll do a couple more barrels over in this corner and we'll put
put an open one by the door. Actually, now that I think about it, it'll be a it'll be a trash barrel. Boom. And then the next thing I need, we can actually grab from downstairs. I know the mines aren't up and going yet, but I do have. Uh, I want, as I said, I want to make everything look like it functions. I started doing it at the end of last season. Uh, we did it over by the butcher. We set up a bunch of the barrels and casks and stuff outside to make it look like the stuff was supposed to be picked up from there. And I want to do it again. Actually, is there... Mm, I don't have a lot of gold, do I? No, not a lot of gold, lapis, or diamonds. So we're going to leave those in there. Let's get back to the top. We can put some of these on up here. And little stacks, per se. And I'll put a little stack of that there. And uh, we'll put a... F oh, actually, you know what? If we do a four stack, it doesn't work. We'll do it like that. Mm, it doesn't... This doesn't fit as well as I thought it would. I might have to mess around with this a bit more. But I think that'll be good to start there. Obviously, they're just going to keep walking on it, which is aggravating. I can make them stop by putting different things in areas, but I'm not going to worry about it too, too much right now. Actually, hmm. I just had a fun idea. Yoink, yoink, and yoink. Let's just put some big stacks of the stuff here. I know it's technically wasting this stuff, but I want to make the area look used and decorated and such, you know what I mean? And since they're dwarves, what do dwarves play with the most? You know, in relation to fantasy and stuff like that. That's weird. How did they get... Oh. I don't know how those got activated, to be honest. I am confused. But I like it. As I said, and I always say, if you guys do have any ideas on other stuff we can use decoration-wise, let me know down below in the comments let's throw a bit of this down that redstone one's too neat i don't know if i like it it's too fancy yeah we'll go like that that one will do its thing there i think that works for those right, let me put those away so they're out of the way just a little bit of something something and then logs i need some logs because I have an idea for this. And as I said, we might not keep the wood chopping area where it is, but I'm still going to dress it up now just to make it look nice. Do I not have... I've got eight logs. All right, that'll be fine. We need some of this. And there's another item that I'm pretty sure I have in here. If not, I can make them. Eh, I'll just make them. All right, there we go. We're going to do log stacks. This might not be enough logs, but I'm going to do it over here anyway. Nonetheless. So, we're going to go a bloop, a bloop, and a bloop. Um, yeah, this is definitely not enough. <laughs> eh. Well, it'll be fine. All right, adding this four should be... I think this will look nice, because, yeah, we'll go boom. Boom, boom. And then we can do it. Obviously, I'm going to have to make this hallway bigger to be able to do this. But I think we'll have the stacks down there because of the size I'm going to end up making these. And boom. I think that looks nice. Normally, I do it with the wood. Mm, that might work. I might mess around with it, change it up. I've always used those before, but when you have it come down like this, it just it looks weird. So I don't do it like that. I just throw on the ladders because it looks a little bit better. But yeah, so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with that and put more of those in. And then what do we got else that I want to throw down? We've got... It, uh, honestly, it already looks better. There's more stuff going on. I like it. I like it. I was going to try and do something in here. I don't... There's not enough room to really do anything in the town hall. So, sadly, you're out. Oink. And then... I, I don't have an idea for the farms. I was going to say I do, but I really don't. I don't know... Like, I can do hay bales. I might end up doing hay bales. I'm going to have to gather up a bunch of hay. Which I think will look cool. So this is the area I am the most stuck on. So if you guys, this is really where I'm going to need your help. 
So let me know on that. But I think this is a good place to wrap it up. We've got some decoration done. I've started a build. I, uh, I've started planning out a build for the smithy and I am very happy with it. I pulled the concept from a, uh, a book series that I really enjoy. I've talked about it in the past before. So once we do get to the build, I'll point it out. I'll bring it up again. Whoop, we froze there for a second. And we'll talk about it a bit more there. But I am going to end it here. As I said, if you have any ideas, let me know down below. And with that, I hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.